Hello everyone, this is Hammertron here on my Hammermobile channel with a new Playmobil review for you. This time I am reviewing the Playmobil Back to the Future set 70633 Marty McFly's pickup truck. This was made in Germany in 2021 and I bought this online in late 2021. I will show you the packaging this came in and then I will review the set itself. Here is the box for the Playmobil Back to the Future set 70633 Marty McFly's pickup truck. Here's the front of the box with a nice picture of the truck and the characters. Here's one side of the box. It has the named characters Marty McFly, Beth Tannen, Jennifer Parker. Here's the other side and we have a little tab where this box can be opened and resealed to put it away. So I like that. Here is the top of the box with manufacturing information. This was made in Germany in 2021. I bought this in late 2021. Here is the back of the box. Shows an exciting scene there. And my favorite picture is on the bottom. This shows the contents of the box with a truck, three characters, and a mini poster. So I will open this up and review the set itself. Here is the mini poster that comes with this set. Looks like a nice picture. It has the Back to the Future logo up here and the Playmobil logo down there. And the Playmobil style appearance of Marty McFly. So, looks all right. And the back has nothing on it. Here are the characters or the figures of the set. So we have Jennifer Parker, Marty McFly's girlfriend. The uh, figure looks okay. Comes with a uh, purse and two watches. I think we're only supposed to get one watch, but they gave us an extra one because these are so small that they can easily be lost. And actually, I didn't see them in the bag at first. It wasn't until I looked at the directions before I realized that there were actually watches. So, here's the hair. It's a long hair piece. And it does restrict the articulation of the neck a little bit. And here's an extra vest put on the figure. It's a hard piece of plastic. But we can see that there's some printing here on the front of the body and on the front of the legs here but if we look at the back of the legs there's no printing there so it looks like Playmobil only puts print on one side of their figures here is Marty McFly he also has two watches I think he only needs one but they gave us an extra one in case we lost it and here this looks like the shirt that he wore in the movie. So it looks like a nice job printing on the front of the body here and on the arms. However, there's no printing on the sides or the back. And that's a missed opportunity because it looks like these are suspenders here. And I know that there were suspenders on the back. So they could have printed that and it would have looked more complete. But other than that, it's okay. And then here is Biff Tannen as an adult in 1985. So he's wearing some kind of uh, sweatsuit. He has a spray bottle of wax and then a cloth for wiping the car clean or putting wax onto the car that he's working on for Mr. McFly. There's some printing on the front and on the arms and the legs on the side there, but nothing on the back. 
Now they have nice hair pieces. Now these are full heads of hair and no um, circle indentation in their hair pieces so they can't wear the normal hats or helmets that Playmobil makes for their characters. Here is Marty McFly's pickup truck. I remember seeing this in the movie and I was impressed by the truck in the movie and this looks very nice too. A nice solid black color with large wheels. And what's interesting is when we assemble this the directions are very specific to make sure that all the wheels are facing the right direction so that the treads are the same on all wheels. So I was surprised by the extra bit of directions in the instruction booklet. We have to add some stickers for the lights so the lights are only stickers and the license plate there says McFly 85 so I like the little license plate detail there and there's no painting or prints or stickers on the side it looks nice we also have uh, the same license plate down here and a trailer hitch and Playmobil yeah I don't remember in the movie the truck saying Playmobil on the back maybe it's something extra the Playmobil company added to the truck and the side it's also nice solid black with no uh, designs, printing, painting, or stickers. Has a nice hood here that we can open up. And we can look at the engine. So nice detail in there. What's odd is that this truck does not have a windshield. So when Marty McFly and his girlfriend are driving around. The windshield is not going to keep the bugs off of their faces. They're going to have bugs splattered all over their faces. How romantic. <laughs> this um, back part opens up. The tires are nice and squishy. Very nice. And this truck is actually identical to another truck that Playmobil has re released that was in set 5558 Adventure Pickup truck and here it is the actual mold is the same but the Adventure Pickup truck has some designs on it and stickers it actually has the same tires however the directions were not very specific about what directions the tire should face so the tires on this one are facing different directions so I might fix that later on but this also does not have a windshield but the molds are the same maybe just different color so I do like this pickup truck I enjoyed seeing it in the movie and this is a nice truck to have in a Playmobil collection that we can use not only for Back to the Future but also other city scenes where we have a plain black truck to display. So sometimes the other trucks with wild printing on it is not very versatile for different displays or scenes. Now, this is all that comes with the set. Just the three figures, very few accessories, and a little poster. And that's it. Now, this was a rather expensive set. Much more expensive than the Adventure pickup truck, but it's essentially the same thing. So I think when you're buying this, you're paying mostly for the license fee for the Back to the Future name. So this might not be the best deal if you want a truck. However, it is a very nice looking truck. 
If you're lucky, you can find this on sale and get it at a more reasonable price for what you get. So thank you for watching my video. Please like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel to keep up to date with my future reviews. Until next time, goodbye everyone.